What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. Today on Destiny in Depth, we're gonna be covering high impact reserves. Glass half full. And if you haven't caught on already, this perk is gonna be strikingly similar to the glass half full perk in Destiny 1. I published that video about a year ago, and it's still up if you guys wanna go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. But anyway, here's what the perk description reads. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's jump into this. Some of the guns that have high impact reserves are being shown to you right now. Really, the only notable one is the number, but we'll talk about that gun later in the video. So even though it says that the extra damage comes at the end of the magazine, it actually starts midway through, or at 50% the maximum magazine capacity. You'll know the perk is active when your gun flashes and it makes a noise. Just an aside here, I really like the noise in Destiny 1 more than Destiny 2. It was very affirmative and you knew the perk was active. And now in Destiny 2 you can hardly hear it, it kind of sounds like a gust of wind. Kind of disappointing there, but let's move on. Notably, it does not show that the perk is active on the left side, like most other perks. But let's move on to the damage. Alright, so you might think that calculating the damage would be really easy. Just go out, shoot half your magazine, and then shoot somebody in the head to get your damage. It's not that simple, because this perk's damage scales with how deep you are in your magazine. The deeper you are in your magazine, the more damage you get. Now let me show you how much extra damage you're gonna get. I tested this on these raid guys, because they make great targets. Now to start this off, let's start with a baseline. And that's gonna be 120 with this particular weapon. It will do 120 damage for the first half of the magazine. And then soon as the perk is activated, you'll instantly get an extra 3 damage, totaling to 123 damage. In the last shot in the magazine will do a total of 127 damage. And since numbers don't mean anything in Destiny, let's convert that into percentage. Obviously that's going to be a 0% increase for the baseline, and then it will instantly jump up to 3% as soon as the perk is activated, and then slowly climb up to an extra 6% damage with the last round in the magazine. The perk is active. You'll be doing an extra 3% damage. But if if you keep shooting, by the end of your magazine you'll be doing an additional 6% damage. So yeah, as you can see here, this is the exact same damage profile as the glass half full perk in Destiny 1. And I was really disappointed with the damage output in Destiny 1, and that still holds true in Destiny 2. Especially with perks like Rampage, I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch that video, but Rampage does an extra 30% damage in some circumstances, making it an actually useful perk. Now I started creating a graph for the damage numbers, but midway through I realized that I had already done this. So I'll just play the clip from the glass half full video. I decided to graph the damage, and after doing so, I realized that glass half full is even weaker than I thought it was. So I expected my graph to be a linear graph, a graph that consistently increases damage with the number of shots. But unfortunately, this isn't true. I found a weird scaling graph when I plotted the numbers. So I made this graph using numbers from hard light, and hard light has 40 shots in the magazine, so there are 20 bullets in the magazine that will be helped by the glass half full perk. And as you can see here, about 10 or 12 shots from the bottom half of that magazine are not really getting any damage boost above 3%. It's only like 1 or 2 damage at this point. It's not until the last 5 rounds in the magazine that the damage boost really takes effect. So therefore, I cannot recommend using any weapon with high impact reserves in PvE. Now let's move on to PvP. So in PvP, I ran around with these Hake and Suros weapons with high impact reserves, and both of them were pretty bad in PvP. So the number is the only weapon that I would recommend using in PvP that has high impact reserves. Now unlike in PvE, in PvP, just a few extra points of damage can win you a gunfight. I feel like even though this perk is statistically the exact same as Glass Half Full, I feel like it is a lot better in PvP in Destiny 2, because the gunfights in Destiny 2 are normally drawn out a little bit longer, meaning that there is a higher chance you'll reach into the bottom half of your magazine in order to get the kill. And while reaching into the bottom half of your magazine, you'll get those extra few points of damage per shot that definitely could turn the tide of a gunfight for you. Now is the number with high impact reserves worth using over something like the Ural's Gift? Well now that you have the facts, that's for you to decide. Alright, so that's all I have on high impact reserves. I really hope everybody learned something in this video, and I hope you didn't mind me splicing together my videos. And if you like the video, make sure to like and consider subscribing. I put out new high quality Destiny content all the time. Also, consider following me on Twitter. It's the best way for me to keep in contact with you guys. Anyway, this has been Widgen TV. Thanks for watching, guys.